Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady. You hold something you have no right to. Uh, okay, what's that? Janitor's closet. Wakey, wakey. In the end, you chose the UC over the Crimson Fleet. Do you believe that was the right choice? Everyone is doubting me. I can respect that. I am no supporter of the United Colonies, but I also could not bring myself to side with the fleet and what they represent. Did getting that close to Delgado and the fleet make it difficult at all? It can be harder to act against someone once you get to know them. Perhaps. I would not have minded seeing him in pieces, but prison will suffice. It would be foolish to think, though, that we have seen the last of the Crimson Fleet. We may have eliminated the leadership, but there are many more pirates out there. I would say you have done more than enough. For now, you should enjoy your hard-earned victory. You have done a service for all of the settled systems. If you are free soon, could we talk? We have not yet had a moment to talk about what happened to you at that place. T temple? I am not sure what to call it. In all my time amongst the stars, I have never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? No idea. Nor I. Nor I suspect anyone else who has ever lived. Is that presuming too much? Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but how can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? <laughs> I'm putting my credits on ma magic pixies. All right, fine. You could just say you have no idea. <laughs> I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? A cynical person might suggest that in itself could be a side effect. But for now, we will just assume you have been very fortunate. The artifacts that temple this new ability you have acquired Clearly, they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. To learn more about... What is at work here? Yes? I have sharpened the blade for this very occasion. Just in case we need it. Good luck, Andresia. If the concept of luck is something that you believe in, of course. Luck will not be necessary, but thank you just the... More powers. It's too late for that now. 
I almost made it into the Crimson Fleet and got a crack at some real money. Then you had to open your big mouth. You stole everything from me, and I'm here to steal it all back. Kill him. Leave nothing left but space dust. Kestilas. Yep. First, take down the number of enemies. That is a fleet of uh, ships. A critical hit. Too bad. Crab jump is back online. Yeah, you know, the way you handle things, not bad, not bad. Yeah, we could you be dead. Straight out of one of those film noir novels, working under or horror movies. The bad guys. <laughs> Just walking around the key makes my skin crawl. How'd you pull it off? Thank God you were running point. You must have ice in your veins or something. I mean, don't get me wrong, helping Sistef was never on my bucket list. Commander Akande, he really wasn't as much of a tight ass as I was expecting. And ultimately, he had your back, so... Yep. surprise. I guess here's to Sistef. You are a different breed than I, then. I just wanted to say, when we first teamed up, I had a good feeling about you, but this, you really helped people, helped everyone. I can't wait for our next adventure. Let us see what wonders of life this planet hosts. It was for science. Okay. This time the temple door is right where we need we need it to be.
let's gather all the light things here. Since star star stuff. Okay, so I can sense life. Well, this is cool. Even without life, there is the potential for beauty. Okay, so this is... Totally dead planet. Or moon. Yeah, looks, looks about the same than before. Although considering how much humans have left uh, trash around, it's it's no wonder that some alien species could left their trash lying around. I mean, humans have been remarkably well trashing, uh, leaving their trash in other places. So, both in real life and and well, the stars feel there's a lots of. Uh, Abandoned military bases around the planet, so... Okay, same, same trick than before. Getting clearer. Gravity wave. Unexplored geophysical feature. Anomaly. I, I wonder, is this erosion or is this damage? Clearly, this is working. Okay, he wants to talk. How about you? But a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. <sighs> Where to begin? That temple? The hell was that? I've been from one end of the settle systems to the other more times than I could count. But I've never, and I mean never, encountered something like that. Like, who built it? Why? So many questions. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. And what you can do? I am not a scientist, not in the least. But that ability, power, 
It's just plain scientifically impossible. Yeah, uh, Arthur C. Clarke. The advanced, reasonably like advanced that. technology. Forget about me, how are you? I mean, whatever happened, it could have deep physiological effects. I hope not mental. And even if everything's perfect, there... Still, I can't imagine what's going through your head. <laughs> I have the power of craving now for human brains. Brains, kidding. <laughs> you... <laughs> Same old you. The other Constellation members are going to lose their minds once they hear about this. Assuming they even believe us. So, over there. Yeah, radiation. Uh, it's it's a gas planet, so they are k kind of huge dynamos. So that's that's why it's pretty realistic that close to them it could be like pretty hardcore radiation. Alpha Temple. Personal atmosphere. What? <clears throat> okay, so we need we need to run. Okay, it's well. Wow. <clears throat> okay, so it's filling a lot of. So this. Once we get to Neon, I'll show you Don't you It's exciting to see this little venture paying yours? off, but we really do need to be careful. The artifacts were one thing, but this... Well, we really need to keep this to ourselves. Can you imagine if word of this got out? If you thought it was a challenge to find artifacts... Imagine doing it with everyone else in the settled systems vying for them as well. We need to figure out what this all means before someone else does. I guess we should be grateful we seem to be ahead of the pack, as it were. So far, no indications that anyone else has noticed what we're up to. Let's just hope that doesn't change with this newfound ability of yours. You? Nah. Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. Yeah, somebody else would I mean, have. on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. 
We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. For chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bus you in, sir. You know, Mr. Stroud, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. <laughs> they design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Co-CEO, heir to the Eklund fortune. And uh, okay. somewhere down there, I'm his wife, yes. Didn't know our marriage was such a low priority. Oh, it jumps up the list of the they, right They names. are living in a different planet, so the different solar systems. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart gives a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. I know. It's my favorite hobby. <laughs> now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Again? <laughs> Only after you had one hack into mine. Okay, me, they have an interesting marriage. Can you lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Oh, just some light sparring, dear. Walter's actually very... attentive. When it's just the two of us. When you mix business and family, you learn to compartmentalize. Yeah. Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now I must yeah, point out the sounds obvious. intellectually the lounge. challenged. Hmm? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Okay. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Okay, let's exit as fast as possible. Hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Slate on airspace.
You might not be aware, but there's a certain amount that your employer has that others might have taken an interest in. Okay, to must, must grow. Somebody's exhorting him. Okay, so they are moving, moving it off. I missed you too. You are still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. Did you need so, something? You don't that need anything all? from me then. Very well. I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a hope or a tayo. Some of you. Who could be with you in every Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Ahem. <clears throat> Is everything ready? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Somebody is after, after the sailor, so... Yep. You could play a trouble shooter in this place. Lots of lots of stuff to do. How did you get in? All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Cloak and Decker. Are they? <laughs> code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. I'm busy drinking. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? And this'll be fun. 
I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Okay. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Yeah, he, he, he called now that. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? <laughs> okay, so this is not dice rolling, but we need to actually negotiate. So we could trap him he here. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me. Instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh. All right. You win. Hand over the money. This... thing... is all yours. Okay. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Okay. Yeah, pretty public place to start to our Stop first. right there! Oh no! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace oh, no. property. Ah, Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? Okay. <clears throat> yeah? Say that again. My trigger finger is getting itchy. Really? Huh. That might change things. I'm listening. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Okay. Not totally un unforeseenable. <coughs> Ace. 
something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Okay, Walter is following me. Hoping to get Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. He did? Oh, yes, I do remember overhearing something about that. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. <laughs> keep, keep your guns. Oh, they are making nice ship parts. Question. You can chat with the receptionist all you want. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bull. But one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Isa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employers are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator. I need to get better stun weapon. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's the door. It should take you outside. Okay. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. <laughs> Climate trade. Oh, we are here. Oh, no. Cat walks. Walter is pretty bad ass. Nikolaus Slayton. 
You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> you have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. That seems a bit extreme for the circumstances. Yep. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't work. Okay. Oh no. You. Slayton really does have a six as working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is, it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Slayton took it all. Probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. It seems you will have plenty of time to evaluate that sentiment. While you are in Okay, she, she liked. I, I was will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Okay. Interesting psychopath. I have things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. I think you may be trying to take... Can we speak for a moment? It has been a relief to be honest with you about my past. I appreciate your willingness to listen. But... Talking about this, remembering all those years, has brought back some unsettling memories. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. I have told you that I spent many years coordinating with smugglers along the edges of the settled systems. There were men and women I worked alongside closely. And over time, I established relationships. 
They were not of the promised, but I considered them friends. Your beast. It describes the people of House Varun. We who have been promised to serve the Great Serpent now and forever. In exchange, he promises to care for us when he returns to his domain. Yes, I have found that to be true. It was, and is, still a surprise. You must understand. I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter. For they are lost, their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. It was, in ways I did not understand at the time. And so it has bothered me ever since. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo. And zealots appeared in force, seemingly out of nowhere. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me, got me moving when others faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately. But I left them all behind. Uh, okay. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends and I abandoned them. And in the years since, I have never looked for them. Ten years. I was immediately reassigned to another role, light years away. No, maybe. I, I don't know. It all happened so fast, and I've had so much time since then to replay it in my head. Wonder if I should have done things differently. In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. How little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone, to be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but... I know it will be easier with you at my side. Thank you. That let's is... let's flirt. <laughs> Flirting is always I'm sorry. A good I, I'm idea. not used to someone being so considerate on my behalf. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in Aquila City. That is where I last saw Erin Bascom. Okay, this is starting her her personal mission. Time to greet the stars. Apogee kick complete. Orbit steady. You hold something you have no right to. Uh, okay, what's that? Okay. Oh, that's not any type of ship I recognize. You see much, but our ship is created from a power beyond your understanding. Its semblance to your own vessels only aids us in masking our presence. We are the Starborn. Especially not you, determines our worth. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? 
What are they for? Blood stick aiming. What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Just knowing what you are be dangerous. Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Okay. We'll get through this. Hold on. Fast jump. Let's see what there is to see, but I've never heard of these star. The speculation part of my brain is an overdrive. We need to regroup the launch immediately. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. Reed, we should not delay. <laughs> this is much better. This resembles uh, a lot the artifact in, in a temple. I wonder if this becomes a new temple. Okay, no new artifacts. Starborn. Never heard of them. No. We have How a situation. You? Are you? Are you okay? Not really. Okay, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? Maybe. I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. 
Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? Hmm. So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Metaphor has married. They acted like they were judging us. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent. Worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can. Including some way to fight them, if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Interesting. Plot is ticking.